What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I got Milo over here acting like a cat and then we got the Christmas tree over here in the back. I should probably start a Christmas rap album. Now it's getting towards the end of the year and I have a lot of content to throw out, but there's new ideas that just keep coming up and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna really ramp down and just try and throw out as many videos as I can for you guys. Hopefully you don't get sick and tired of seeing my face or hear my voice. I know a lot of you have probably done a lot of shopping for Black Friday, picked up a bunch of watches, or maybe you have some in mind for Christmas coming up around the corner. And if you're anything like me, you probably wanna buy more watches than what your budget allows for, and that's okay. I would completely understand. Um, as long as you're not going into debt, I say, you do you. <laughs> now, if you don't have a budget that allows for new watches all the time, one, one thing that you can do to kind of stretch your dollar is to purchase different straps for one watch. And this was an idea, it's nothing new in the watch community, but I know that it's a good way to kind of reignite or rekindle that honeymoon phase with a certain watch you may own, especially if you have a daily wear or something that's a little more versatile, you can really change the look of it and the feel with different strap materials and textures and looks. And that was an idea that Martin kind of had with Straps Co. We were talking about it and he said, you know, what if we feature uh, four looks on one watch? And I love the idea, but my videography is probably way better than my photography in terms of skill. You know, I could do photos, but I wanted to showcase that idea with this watch here. If you guys remember, this is the ByMind. I picked this thing up. It's a Flieger Type A style watch. I think I paid around 30 bucks for it. Keep an eye out for these things. You can usually find them um, really good, really cheap, and it's got awesome specs. You can check out the full review up here. I highly recommend it. But basically, I'm taking this watch that has 100 meters water resistance, sapphire crystal, and stainless steel case. It came on a silicone strap, so that's look number one, I guess you could say. As far as getting into the water, I already got that covered right off the bat. And then I picked up four straps from Straps Co., and I wanna show you how you can really change the look of one simple watch by trying different straps. Now, in case if you're new to the channel, my name's Dave, may the Schwartz be with you, and hey, did you know, it's a great day to wear a watch. Today I have on the Holland's Datejust homage with this green suede strap, and then of course that gold-toned buckle. This thing in two-tone is just, tell me this isn't the perfect Christmas watch, even in front of the Christmas tree here, that is, in my opinion, it's like Christmas on your wrist. I love it. Here we go. Four on one. Get your mind out of the gutters, guys. <laughs> straps. Four straps on one watch. Let's get into it. So before we get into the watch strap swaps, I just wanna show you, this was the original strap that the watch came with. It has this green stitching, and you'll see this strap in detail on the full review, but definitely ties in with that dial color of the green accents. Being that it is silicone, it's actually made very well. It's not a quick release, but as far as getting into the water with this watch, this would be the strap I would definitely just leave on it. So this is look number one. Um, this is the Dasari nylon quick release strap. It's actually 3.5 millimeters thick. It has a very nice feel to it. Um, I like that they didn't just leave the nylon inside. As you can see there, Dasari branding. They actually did a very nice leather uh, lining on the inside and then quick release. So very quick to pop this on and off. This is a 22 millimeter version and this strap is $24.99. Uh, they have a lot of other kind of colors that you could get, but I like this military green. So it takes this Flieger style watch and almost makes it look more like a field watch, which I really like. Um, very tough and rugged kind of look to it. It does have a stainless steel brushed tang buckle as well but the stitching on it's done really nice. And I think that this is just a good way to kind of swap out the look and feel without spending a whole lot of money. Okay, here's look number two. So this one, in my opinion, is a lot more fun. This is the New Buck camo strap, and this is with a New Buck leather. It's actually 3.5 millimeters thick as well. And you can see we get some nice contrast stitching done very nicely, um, just kind of gives it that more rugged look and feel. We have the black leather on the inside, kind of lining that, see that texture there. And then of course, new buck leather on the outside. But man, I think this just looks so cool. I would definitely wear this with just a solid color, like let's say a green army jacket, white t-shirt and some jeans. I think this is going to be your statement piece in your outfit. I wouldn't wear this with other camo patterns in your clothing. I would let this kind of stand out. That's just my opinion. 
this strap is actually an OEM kind of aftermarket replacement for the Hamilton. It's a vintage leather uh, for the khaki field watch. And you'll notice that kind of classic double, double prong tang buckle there in stainless that is brushed. And then what I like is the white contrast stitching with those metal rivets. Uh, definitely has that field watch, but also kind of aviator style uh, vibe. And I think this pairs up really good. The white contrast, of course, tying in with the indices in the hands. And then of course, with these brushed stainless steel on the case that is matching up perfectly with our buckle. Um, but I, I think it's got a cool look to it with that double tang buckle style, just really nice. And you can see, I haven't worn this one yet. And that's just because I've been enjoying one of the others, which we're gonna get to here in a second. It is my favorite and has been getting all the wrist time. But again, look at how much this changes the look from the other straps that we were just taking a look at. I love it. Now guys, this combo is definitely my favorite of the four, but it's also the more expensive. And the reason being is we're pairing up a deployant buckle clasp with this nice leather strap. So let's start with the clasp. It's two different, um, I guess, components for this combination. So this is actually an IWC OEM aftermarket single deployant clasp buckle. And you can find this on the website. And this one is in full 316L solid stainless steel. I like that we have brushed and polished finishing brushed on the buckle portion and then all high polished with a little bit of uh, uh, sandblasting there in the middle. I think this is just really nice, very sturdy and thick metal. So this thing is going to uh, last for a long time. And you can see here, this is the Dasari Aviator Croc Emboss leather strap with rivets. I love this combo. They didn't have at the time, they were actually sold out of a lot of the other colors. So you'll see they have different color options. And this one is the shorter style. So this portion of the strap, the top part where the buckle connects, is shorter than the standard version and they didn't have the standard length so I went with this one and you know I gotta be honest it actually offsets the buckle a little bit higher on my wrist and so it's less likely to get scratched you know, rubbing my uh, let's say setting my hand down on the table or something like that so being with a short version actually worked out in my favor and what's cool is this one does taper down from 22 millimeter down to 18 millimeter. I didn't go for the contrast stitching. I like the brown stitching with it. I think it just goes a little bit better. So if you're gonna get this clasp for this combo, make sure that you get an 18 millimeter deployant buckle clasp as well. Very nice, just elevates the look of this watch so much more than the silicone that the watch came with or even the other option we've gone over. All right, guys, so there we have it, four on one. We got a simple, in this case, inexpensive watch that we're able to take and really elevate the look of it with these other strap options. But let me know what your thoughts are down below, which was your favorite combination. I'd love to hear all about it. Now, as always, may the shorts be with you, and I will see you guys at the next one. Take care.